Har du lært noe i dag? Ja! Han skal briste den, holde kolken og vaske. This is the energy for tomorrow. 100 grams of carbs in each. This is 400 grams. Oreos, banana, maybe eat, maybe not. Crisps, tortilla. We have rice with soy sauce and bread. And this, Fanta Exotic. What say you, Rafa? Fanta Exotic. Only real ones drink exotic. Okay, so I can't decide which glasses I'm having. These are option one. It's Nortuk, sponsored actually. One player is not sponsored. <laughs> no one sees a merke, but faktisk. These. These are darker and these are lighter, and the world gets sunshiny. These are better for faster running, and tomorrow I'm not running fast. Oh, they can see my glass. <laughs> this is the kit. Here we have shorts, uh, tube, sports bra, glasses, long sleeve, t-shirt, rain jacket. These socks, if you haven't tried them, it's with toes. You won't get blisters at all. Vaseline for my feet. And this is like my arrival kit. No jacket and the these glasses, so this is it. So I want to do a voiceover on this race, but it was not quite a race because this was two weeks before my 24 hour race, which is uh, the highlight of the season. So I'm like training for that. So this was like a training session. Uh, it's kind of crazy to call a 12 hour race a training session, but that's what it was for me. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> so people that I have really close to my heart came and surprised me from Sweden, so that was like amazing. We come for that here for the We did five times home from. We had the put some fee also. Ah, just there. Hello, mamma. Hello. Did you get the bra? Okay, so Olga had been doing an orienteering competition earlier in the day and I was like, whoa, I want to look at the map. So I ran around looking at the map. You must have more orienteering Next time, till 24 hours, we have a whole load. Yeah. Oh, that's me. We're not very far away. So my plan was to do 9k every hour and then have like a small pause to drink sugar and eat something if I wanted to. I drank 100 grams of sugar every hour, just sugar water and then I had like Oreos and stuff like that too. So the nut like nutrition wise, it went super good. And I also had a lot of energy. I actually ran a bit faster than planned, but it went great. So 
Så har vi andre Simon som kjenner nå, som nå passerer på nett og skulle gjøre fire kjenner etter, og hele tiden I actually enjoyed the whole race and that's quite unusual to be ultra running because you usually have some moments of like you feeling down and stuff like that but I actually didn't have any of those moments in this race and it was quite amazing it was another experience than what I'm used to this is Teresa Falk she is the European record holder for 24 hour running and we actually recorded a podcast so I will link that in the bio Åtta, syv, sex, fem, fyra, tre, to, en, stopp! Alla sammen, dere har fullført et tolvtimerslag. Det er nydelig. Husk det, premier til topp tre. Den siste her, så kommer det i tillegg, skal jeg lese opp samtlige sine resultater så fort vi har dem. De blir oppdatert med en gang de blir lagt inn. Ikke begynner på det beste været, men vi gjorde det vi kan. I was so happy with the result in the end and that it was so good to be like a training session. Uh, I had a lot of energy to talk to people and here I was just talking about that it was a training session and they were like, you should have waited like three weeks. Three weeks would be perfect, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yes. I made a flag of the, of the shirt, that is like my shirt. If you want to do one yourself, you need a stick and your t-shirt, of course, and then a hairband. I don't know what happens to the brain when you run ultra, but you get thoughts and you do them. At the time, I thought that this was like a really good idea and that I had come up with something super smart making my shirt uh, a flag, but it was like so that I can have my sponsors on me and then I will still be able to show my trademark in my shirt. And Olga was like, why? I was like, why not? So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but it was fun. Maybe I should do it in the future too. I don't know. It was a really cool race and if you want to run a 12 hour race in Norway I would highly recommend this race. Uh, it's Kaptage Toltimers, it's called and they also have a podcast that is called Kaptage Podcast and I will link that in my bio too so that you can listen to that because it's really cool. And I hope you like this video and this race kind of thing and I will see you in the next which is going to be my 24 hour race uh, race vlog so stay tuned <laughs>